Hey folks, Tim here from Rockout Videography with another product review and today we're going to be reviewing the Amazon Basics Folding Guitar Stand. And we'll also be comparing it to the Fretrest Folding Guitar Stand. Let's talk about them. Alright, so believe it or not, I actually have a lot to cover in this review, so I'm going to cheat and I'm going to use notes. Hopefully that doesn't bother you guys. So the reason that I bought this was I needed another guitar stand and I've kind of, I'm a fan of the folding guitar stand concept for reasons that we'll get into as we go along. Obviously I ordered it from Amazon, it is after all the Amazon Basics Folding A-Frame Guitar Stand. And as you can see, the, the price was, it was reasonable. It's not expensive at all. So it was delivered by Amazon. And it came in basically a, you know, your standard brown cardboard box. I did notice that there was just a little bit of damage, a little hole in the back. And that's probably just a result of part of the stand poking through as it was handled. No big deal, though, uh, in spite of the fact that there wasn't any packing or anything inside the box. There was no damage. I didn't notice any scratches or anything on it, so it was fine. The width is adjustable by pushing a pin on the back. When you push the pin, you can fold the legs out and it's adjustable to several different widths, which can be important depending on what instrument it is that you decide to use on it. The legs fold out, so that's good. And it's, it's pretty heavy duty. I like that. One of the things that you'll see if you read the reviews is that people complain about that some instruments don't fit. I didn't really have that issue. So, does it fit a P-Bass? Yeah, fits a P-Bass just fine. How about a Jazz Bass? I was a little worried about that. No, fits a Jazz Bass just fine. It even fits my Hofner Bass. What about guitars? Does it fit a Stratocaster? Yeah, it'll fit a Stratocaster. How about a Telecaster? Yeah, it fits that too. What about acoustic guitars? Yes, this thing's really good for acoustic guitars. What about a banjo? Yeah, it fits the banjo. Do your kids have guitars? Are you worried that this thing won't fit your kids' guitars? Well, what if uh, your kid's got a three-quarter scale or short scale bass? Yeah, it'll fit that. How about a left-handed three-quarter scale Telecaster? Yeah, fits that. It even fits the Daisy Rock acoustic guitar. No problems at all. You'll notice that a few of these instruments, though, had the, uh, the strap peg touching on the bottom. But if you were to decrease the width of it with the adjustment, that probably wouldn't be a problem. One of the things that I like about this is the portability. It packs really flat and it's really small, which is really good. However, can you stick it in your guitar case? Nah, you can't. I tried several different ways to fit it in this P-Bass case, and no matter what I did, I couldn't get it closed. So that's a no-go. However, one of the things that you can do with this, one of the things that I like about these folding guitar stands is that you can attach them to your gig bag by having a piece of Velcro sewn on it. That's really, really handy. So let's talk about these two stands and some of the differences between them, kind of the pros and cons, why you might pick one over another. This one is taller. And theoretically, that's going to give you more support on your instrument than you would with this one. Uh, it's also flatter, the way that it folds up. And that might be nice if you're connecting it to your gig bag. There's going to be less stuff to snag on than you would get with the fret rest. This is definitely heavier dutier than this one. But does that really matter? I don't know. I mean, in all the years I've had this one, it hasn't been bent or damaged. So I don't know if that's really a... A pro per se. This one however, this one will fit acoustic instruments. This one will not. It's just too narrow right here. Um, you can rest an acoustic guitar on it but it's going to be resting on this part. That's not as ideal as having it on the foam. Although I will fit, say that um, 
it turns out this does fit the Hofner base. That's cool. Another advantage to this is that if you look at the price of the fret line, and that's uh, as of today, that's the Guitar Center price. This one's about five dollars cheaper, so that's definitely something going for the Amazon Basics version. Now, the fret line by Pro Line. Some of the things that I do like about this stand over the Amazon stand. I like the foam here. That's more uh, more cushion to protect your instrument, as opposed to just this thin, tiny little piece of foam that you've got on this one. It's possible that you might be more likely to get some scratches on the back of your instrument with this stand than you would with the, um, the, the Fretrest by ProLine. I should mention, by the way, it's a ProLine product. Another thing that the Fretrest has going for it is that I can fit this inside the hard shell case for my P-Base. That's really, really nice. Whereas, again, the Amazon Basics, no matter what we tried, we couldn't get that one to fit. Will this fit in a hard shell guitar case? I don't know. I don't have one, so I wasn't able to test that. Let's take a look at the difference in these things as they're folded, because it's kind of, uh, you know, which one you like better. With this one, it's flatter, but in some ways it's got a larger profile. So that might be something you like or you dislike. With the fret rest, it's just about as tall, but it is obviously a lot thinner or it's not as wide, basically. However, you do have the hooks here. might catch on something unless you fold them up. If you fold them up, I don't know. I'm going to say this one's a lot more portable and snag-free than this one is. So, that's the review. I hope you found this interesting. I hope it gives you points of comparison when making your decision on whether or not you want to purchase the Amazon Basics Folding A-Frame. I think I would probably in the future, if I order any more folders, I'm probably going to go with the Fretrest by ProLine. If you like what we're doing here on the channel, hit the subscribe button. We'd appreciate that. And also, you can help to support the channel by liking and following us in all of the stuff that you see down here. Thanks for your time, folks, and have a great day.